Welcome back to BES Review. I'm Brian and today we are going to be talking about the self-balanced TDS and EC water meter. With the growing concern of water quality here in America, my wife has got behind me as starting prepping a little bit and one of the things that she specifically wants to do is water storage. Well, whenever you deal with long-term water storage, you're going to want to filter your water. And one of the ways to test to see if your filter is doing good is with a TDS meter. So I got this one. It's great. I love it. It's factory calibrated and it's got a lifetime warranty. And it also measures the electrical connectivity and also the temperature of your water. I got three glasses set up. One is the tap water. One is through my filter that's in my refrigerator and then one is distilled water. The meter, it also measures temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. I got it in Fahrenheit. This is America. So I like to know things in Fahrenheit. Now, one thing to point out, not all water is the same even though you get it from the same source. We recently moved a couple of years ago to a different part of the city. We drink the same water from the same lake, but here our total dissolved solids get cut in half. My old apartment complex, I was getting uh, anywhere between three to 350, which is on the high end. And that's where we started testing with filters, different filters. But I found one that we liked. The only bad part is because we had so much contaminants in our water the filter burned out too quick and it was just not cost effective for us to keep buying those filters so we started drinking a lot more bottled water but here our total dissolves our numbers straight out of our tap it's, uh, 124 25 that's straight over our tap now we go into our filter. Just a little bit difference. Now, the filter that we use is just a carbon filter. It's not designed to get out total dissolved solids. It's more for color, taste, and odor. Then this last one is distilled water, which distilled water should be at zero. This is one we probably just a little bit of contaminated water on the uh, electrodes. If I swish it around, it'll go back down to zero eventually. But it, all these three also re registered the same room temperature, which is 71 degrees right now. And it's a little handy meter. You know, right now, all I need it for is the total dissolved solids. But, you know, if I go on to certain other events shears, I may have to, you know, play around with the electrical connectivity. But it's a great meter. It's got a lifetime warranty. And if you are wanting to start prepping and this and want a meter to check to see how good your filter is, I would highly recommend this meter. As always, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And be sure to subscribe, because you never know what you might find out. Thanks.